We're gonna be practicing acid-base nomenclature today. My first compound is hydroiodic acid. Both the acid and the hydro tell me that I'm going to be leading with a hydrogen. And the hydro tells me that iodotic is going to be uh, from the periodic table directly. Iodotic is going to be iodine's secret name. And hydrogen having only one valence electron is going to have a charge of positive one. Iodine is going to be in column seven, making it have seven valence electrons, so it will steal one. When I write them together, I'm just gonna go ahead and write this like this. I will exchange charges for subscripts. Hydrogen's one becomes iodine's one. I don't write ones. Iodine's ones becomes hydrogen's one. I don't write ones. So HI is hydroiodotic acid. Next is uh, magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide, you need to figure out who magnesium is. Magnesium is going to be Mg. Hydroxide is a polyatomic ion. It's the thing that is making me a base, but bases follow normal ionic nomenclature rules. So I can just go ahead and write my hydroxide ion as OH with a negative one charge. Magnesium is in the first two columns. It is in column two, which means it has two valence electrons, which means I am going to give away those two valence electrons. So my magnesium is going to have a charge of positive two. Then I will write them together and I will exchange charges for subscripts. Magnesium's two will become hydroxide's two. Hydroxide's one will become magnesium's one, but I don't write ones. So bases should be really familiar and easy for you to write quickly. Uh, it's acids that are going to be a little bit more difficult. So here we have a sulfuric acid. This ick tells me that I am a polyatomic ion. Acid tells me that I'm going to be leading with hydrogen. Hydrogen is in that first column and only has one valence electron, so it's always going to have a charge of plus one when it is uh, forming an ionic compound. Ick is my eight form, so I need to find sulfate. SO4 negative two is going to be my original polyatomic ion. And then I will go ahead and write it together and exchange charges for subscripts. So hydrogen's one becomes sulfate's one. I don't need to write it. Sulfate's two becomes hydrogen's two, and I will write it. So H2SO4 is sulfuric acid. Next, we have potassium hydroxide. Potassium is going to be K. It's in the first column, which means it has one valence electron. It's going to give away that one valence electron rather than try to steal seven. So I will have K with a positive one charge. And hydroxide I can steal from previous problem. Hydroxide is going to be OH with a negative one charge. When I write them together, I will have KOH. Potassium's one becomes hydroxide's one. I don't need to write it. Hydroxide one, hydroxide's one becomes potassium's one, which I also do not need to write. Next is going to be carbonic acid. Ick means that I am looking for my eight form of that uh, polyatomic ion with carbon in it. So that is going to be carbonate, CO3, negative two. And acid tells me that I am going to be leading with a hydrogen. Hydrogen always has a charge of plus one. I will write it together. Hydrogen's one becomes carbonate's one. Don't need to write it. Carbonates two become hydrogens two, so H2CO3 is going to be carbonic acid. Phosphoric acid, ick means I am looking for my eight form. Acid means I'm starting with hydrogen. Phosphate is the one that I'm going to look for. Phosphoric, ick is eight, so phosphate. And then I will have uh, PO4. Negative three is my charge. So I will write them together. Phosphates three becomes hydrogens three. Hydrogens one becomes phosphates one. I don't write ones. So H3PO4 is going to be phosphoric acid. Next, I'm going to have aluminum hydroxide. Aluminum 
and hydroxide means that I'm going to be looking at a base. I don't have an acid there, but I do have hydroxide, so I know that's a base. It's going to follow normal nomenclature rules. I have aluminum, who is going to be Al. Aluminum is not in the first two columns, but it is part of Cadzenagel, which means that I have to memorize aluminum's charge. So aluminum is on that third stair step of Cadzenagel, which means aluminum is going to have a positive three charge. And then I have hydroxide. Hydroxide, I'm gonna go ahead and steal earlier. Hydroxide is going to be OH with a charge of negative one. Then I will write them together. Aluminum's three will become hydroxide's three, so I will protect hydroxide with parentheses, and then I will give the one from hydroxide to aluminum, but I don't write ones. So AlOH3 will be my final form of um, aluminum hydroxide. Next, acetic acid. Acid means I'm starting with H. Acetic, ic, is eight, so I am looking for acetate. Acetate has two different forms that you can write its formula here. Just pick whichever one you like better. I like this version better. So I'm going to go ahead and write down C2H3O2, negative 1. And then I will write it together. Acetate's 1 becomes hydrox uh, hydrogen's 1, and I don't write 1's. Hydrogen's one becomes acetate's one, and I don't write ones, so I'm done there. Here I have some formulas that I'm going to go into names. So here I have an H present, which means that I'm going to have to end in acid. I know that I'm going to have to have the word acid there. Now, NO3. I need to figure out who NO3 is. So I know that that's not directly off the periodic table, which means I don't need hydro but I do need to find NO3. NO3 is gonna be nitrate. My eight will go to ic, and that will turn into nitric acid. Here I have a CaOH2. I'm not leading with a hydrogen, which would make this not an acid. I am paired with OH, which would make this a base. So I'm gonna follow my normal nomenclature rules for ternary compounds. CA is going to be calcium. Calcium was in the first two columns, so I don't need an oxidative state, so I'm just going to go ahead and move on to who OH is. OH is on my list of uh, polyatomic ions. OH is going to be hydroxide, so all I have to do is just add hydroxide. And calcium hydroxide is going to be my name. Next, I have NH4OH. Again, not leading with a hydrogen, so this is not going to be an acid. I'm just going to follow normal nomenclature rules. I know that OH is one polyatomic ion, and uh, NH4 is going to be another. So NH4 is going to be ammonium. Ammonium, since it is already a polyatomic ion, I don't need to worry about renaming it, even though it is in my cation form. And then we have OH, which we already know from previous is going to be hydroxide. So ammonium hydroxide is going to be the correct name for this. H2SO3 is my next formula. I have a leading H, which means that I need to end in acid. This is not directly from the periodic table. This is a polyatomic ion, so I don't start with hydro. Instead, I need to find SO3 on my list of polyatomic ions. SO3 is going to be sulfite. Sulfite, ite, will turn to us, so this will be sulfurous acid. Sulfurous acid. Then I have HF. H is going to tell me that I am going to end in acid. F, since this is directly off of the periodic table, it is not a polyatomic ion, means that I have to start with the prefix of hydro. And then I need to uh, go ahead and find who F is. F is going to be fluorine. Same place that I would change 
uh, INE to IDE is going to go from uh, INE to IC, ick. So this will be hydrofluoric acid. Last problem that we're going to do, we have H2S. I'm leading with an H, so I know that this is going to be an acid. S is not a polyatomic ion, so I know that I have to start with hydro. And then I need to figure out who S is. S is going to be sulfur. Same place that you would uh, change the ending to IDE, that's where you're going to change it to IC. So this will be hydrosulfuric acid. And that would be it.